Look how handsome he is. Anything you want to say? I'm starving. Now, honey, what is it you're doing now? Hanging our food bag. Come on. What? All right, we've got a pretty serious situation here. Bears everywhere. Oh my gosh. They're after us, they're after our food, they're after our everything. So precaution for the park services is set up here. Our gray cooker systems. Where we can cook our bags on here. That's how you do it. That's it. with our food for at least one more night. Freezing cold. But it's refreshing. Mountain man chain. Found him firewood for us. You found any good wood? I got a lot of good wood. A lot of good wood. Not as much as you'll find later. <laughs> Got a new mountain high and a mountain hardware sleeping bag. I'm ready to break in tonight. <laughs> and um, anything else you want to add? Good night. Good night. So we purified our water with iodine. You me? And brought. Are you messing with me? No, I'm not messing with you. And we brought the water bottles down here. We'll say we. To chill while Shane's been making a fire. And we come back and the water bottles are gone. Our gigantic plastic water bottles with all of our water. We do have the camelback bladders. We could fill those up. But this is our first mishap and adventure of the trip. So I can have kind of like. What are you doing? Stop! <laughs> You're so Stop handsome. It. My sexy husband. Tell me about the bag. I told you about the bag. Oh, it's got arm zipper holes. Wow. Wow. I wasn't impressed before, but I am now. <laughs> You're a woman. You just don't understand what a nice sleeping bag is all about. You just can't appreciate it. If it, had southern, if it had southern living stamped on it, you could probably really enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are getting fueled up, ready to head out for our second day. I'm waiting on a uh, spoon or fork so I can <laughs> mix some oatmeal up. Thank you. Boxes on the ground, boxes on the ground. See if you can see all the gnats that are flying in my face. Of course there's none right now. It's awesome. Ooh, man. What a day. Oh, we start that. Ooh, man. What a day. Oh, we start that. Ooh, what? You say the one giving you trouble's name is Heather? Freeze-dried lasagna and delicious dinner tonight. And our neighbors commute in. And I've got a charcoal grill going, as you can see. It's moves in the distance. 
And they've got all kinds of goodies. Probably beer. Probably lots of delicious things. But we couldn't be happier. We're having freeze dried Grand Canyon cheesecake later. So it's going to be a good night. Hey. <laughs> Alright, for some reason or another, I was just able to convince my wife to smell my armpit after hiking on the trail for three and a half days without a shower. And would you describe to me how it smelled <laughs> and what happened? For a second, I lost consciousness of where I was. <laughs> Why did you smell it? Was, you made me. I didn't make that. Did, did I push your head towards yeah. my armpit? No. Like, yes, you I actually said, did. hey, you should smell it, and you just did. You use your powers of persuasion and make me feel <laughs> like I was an awful wife if I wouldn't. Oh, happy birthday to me. Yeah. Come on, Okay, so we just got woken up in the middle of the night. Um, Shane was sleeping tight and right behind me, probably no more than 18 to 24 inches away, I heard footsteps dragging the ground. And as it walked to the left of our tent, we had the rainfall open just a little bit to let some air in. I saw a shadow pass pretty high right past me. It walked around to the right side, saw a shadow over there, and did a loop again looking around, checking everything out. So my only guess is it was a bear. I'm poking Shane the whole time, thinking that he's awake but being quiet, and he's asleep the whole time. So then it gets back over here to the right side window for the last time, and it just stops there, and I can see the shadow, probably at least four to five feet tall, just looking at me. And after I realized that I was staring at it, maybe it could see my eye contact, and that's why it was just standing there staring at me covered my head, started praying, and started shaking to Shane. <laughs> By that point, the bear had run off. Shane's saying, maybe we're just dreaming, when I know for a fact that I was not. <laughs> and you decided to poke me in the face with your fingers to I alert me there's this. a bear. I don't know why suddenly I think that you're supposed to be quiet when there's a bear. Mm. I was just scared. So. Well, it's about 2 a.m., so I've gotten out of the tent, patrolled, we didn't see that bear. Our neighbors were all meat that they found from, you know, bear cables like 100 feet away seems to be intact. So, yeah. you know, maybe we're okay yep, we're for good. now. We're good. <laughs>